Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about how to best use eggshells, calcium carbonate, in your garden. This is really for tomatoes, but other vegetables also need calcium. Tomatoes need calcium because they can get a, a, a disease called blossom end rot. And I don't know if you've ever gotten it. You would know the bottom of your green tomatoes typically turn brown. And that's usually due to a lack of calcium in the soil or an inability for your plant to use the calcium in the soil. Today I wanted to show you how to best use eggshells because it will add calcium to your soil. This is about a dozen eggs that I save. First thing is, is, is save the shells and then you actually want to heat them in the oven at about 180 degrees for about two hours. That just helps dry them out. You don't want to raise the temperature really past 180 degrees Fahrenheit because the eggshells can burn and it does make an awful smell and you really just don't need to do that. Now sometimes I've talked about throwing crushed eggshells in your tomato hole and that's great you can do that but this is calcium carbonate. Eggshells are calcium carbonate which is Ca CO3. It's 95% calcium carbonate. The other parts of the eggshell are calcium phosphate and magnesium carbonate. Now you want your eggshells to be broken down either in your compost pile or in your soil so that it breaks down into just calcium. The calcium is the mineral that your tomato plant uses and that's the form that's needed for the roots to pull it into the system of the plant. A couple of things again. If you throw this into, a, into your tomato planting hole or in a compost pile, these will take much longer to decay because there's not as much surface area than if you crush them up. And when you break something, you increase the surface area by exposing the edges. And that allows bacteria and different things to get into the eggshell and break it down. The best way to use it, the best way to uh, utilize eggshells is to really pulverize it. And this is a couple of eggshells in here pulverized down almost into a dust. And there's probably literally a million times more surface area in here than right here because you've just broken it down into really, really fine particles. And how I do it is I just use a coffee grinder, put the eggshells in, and just grind it down. And that's what I'm going to do with all of these eggshells is pulverize them. Now once you pulverize them, you can pour this into your compost pile or put it into your planting hole, but it's still going to need to break down. But this will break down a lot more quickly than the bigger shells or the crumbled shells. Now I'm going to show you how to even break this down more. You can add white vinegar, which is acidic acid, and the calcium and the vinegar are going to react and it's going to break down the calcium carbonate and calcium that is readily available. What that means is just because you put the eggshells into the soil, it doesn't mean that it's readily available to the plant. So you want to either put this in your compost pile and let it break down, and then this calcium will be readily available to your plant, or you can do this trick. This is um, a tablespoon of crushed egg cells and two tablespoons of vinegar. And people are concerned sometimes when you do this because vinegar is an acid. Well, this is litmus paper. I've already tested it and it comes out neutral, but I'm going to do it again real quick here. So take a teaspoon of the crushed eggshells. We're going to add white vinegar. And let me show you, white vinegar is an acid. So when we dip it in here, this comes out very, very red on the high or on the low end of this litmus scale, or one or two, which means it's very, very acidic. So I'm going to take a about a teaspoon. Well, that's a little bit more. You do one to two teaspoons of vinegar, and you can see it maybe slightly, but it's starting to bubble. And what happens is the vinegar and the eggshell react, and I'm going to give you basically what happens. The calcium carbonate, and that's the vinegar, um, react and they break down into calcium, the Ca, water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2. So the vinegar and the eggshell break down or react together to break down the, the calcium carbon and that's what you want. You just want the plain calcium. Now this is foamed up a lot and I'm going to keep 
swishing it around a little bit. Now, the reason that you do that again is because you want your calcium to be readily available. So eggshell, again, it's calcium carbonate. It will break down naturally over time. Big eggshells will take about a year. Um, the crushed eggshells might take six months or so. If you put them into your compost pile and it's a great compost pile and it heats up, it could be quicker. But this is the quickest way to get the calcium or get the uh, eggshell into its best form for your tomato plant to use it. Now, now let's let that sit. You, after you do this, you want it to sit for about an hour just to let the vinegar and the eggshell react together. So I'm going to do another video to show you how I prepare, um, and this is going to be for the new year. I've used these ingredients before, eggshell um, and magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. I'm going to show you how to make a pint container of water, eggshell, and magnesium sulfate for your tomato so that when you transplant it, you're putting right into the hole the main ingredients for it to fight off blossom and rot. And it's a preventative thing, but I'm going to do that on a separate video. Now, just for you who may not believe that this is neutral, or at least less acidic than it was, I'm going to put this in there now. And you can see, let me get the other one. This was the vinegar, pure vinegar. This is the calcium carbonate, the eggshell, and the vinegar together. So it really neutralizes itself, and it's somewhere around this range. So you don't have to worry about the vinegar being too acidic for the planting hole. Again, eggshells are a great source of calcium, but in its form of an eggshell, it's not readily available to your tomato plant. So you either have to compost it and let it break down, or you can do this process, which will speed it up a little bit more. So you're gonna have calcium in here that's ready for the plant, and whatever doesn't get broken down by the vinegar will break down in the planting hole. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot of information out there about eggshells. Hopefully this clarified it a little bit. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.